Crazy girl has an obsession with my best friend for years and it's gone way too far. Hey. There is a girl who for 8 years has been absolutely obsessed and in love with one of my best guy friends. I've known the guy since middle school and her since high school. Ever since she met him, she's been in love with him. He has never reciprocated these feelings and has made it clear multiple times that he does not feel the same way that she does about him. When I say multiple I mean almost every two weeks he has to remind her. She even transferred colleges for the sole reason that she could be with him and made sure to live in his building as well. She shows signs of OLD, obsessive love disorder. She acts like a jealous toxic girlfriend to him even though they have never dated, getting extremely angry at him for any interaction he has with any other female. If anyone comments on his pictures on Instagram she gets furious and will bombard his phone with texts attacking him and the females in question. Every week it's the same fights over and over again and I'm getting frustrated. The guy has been my friend through thick and thin. But he won't cut her off because he is afraid she will end herself if he does and he's her only friend. She actually has threatened to end herself if he ever left multiple times. He has hinted to us before that he is not straight and of course we support him 100% but this girl constantly calls him the F slur and tells him to stop acting so not straight. I'm sure if he is not straight he certainly doesn't feel comfortable coming out with her around. She has punched two girls at two separate occasions at bars for getting too close to him. I wouldn't be surprised if things eventually got more violent. We have tried having interventions with her and it would help for two weeks but after a while she would go back to her toxic ways. I've tried getting her help with a therapist but she refuses. I feel like I'm stuck. I don't want to lose my best friend of more than 10 years because of this crazy girl. I have lots of stories of things she's done if anyone wants more. TLDR. Crazy girl has an obsession with my best friend for years and it's gone way too far. I would recommend that your friend tries to get a restraining order on her. This is not normal behavior and a human shouldn't be acting like this. If your friend doesn't want to do this, make sure you both block her ASAP this is the only response to this kind of behavior. Restraining order. She is stalking him. That is not okay and trying to help her is not helping your friend. Documenting each incident is a must as well. Accept whatever your intentions, by not making this woman face consequences for her actions, you are enabling her to keep doing this stuff. If she assaults someone, don't apologize for her, report her to the police. Your friend really should have a restraining order against her, but I see that he won't cut her off. What he's doing is ultimately not going to help her, because she is not going to get the help she so clearly needs. If she threatens to end herself, report her for a wellness check. He needs to understand that he is not helping her by allowing this to go on. She is not his friend, she is obsessively in love with him and honestly, some people like that attention and he needs a freaking reality check. What if your friend gets into a relationship? It seems pretty likely that she will beat the person he dates and or him for dating them. She has punched two girls at two separate occasions at bars for getting too close to him. And no one involved the police or press charges? The first girl that got punched was so drunk she didn't even realize, the punch missed her so it didn't hurt much but she def was aiming to hurt her, and the second girl that got punched was a friend of ours who we apologized to her. It helped that she already knew beforehand that the girl was crazy so she just let it go. It's probably helpful to think about who you can help, you can't help her, because she hasn't asked and she is beyond what any lay person could help with. Your friend has he asked for your help? Because it sounds like he has rejected the suggestion to cut her off. What do conversations between you two look like? How does he involve you in this dynamic? You can't change his behavior towards her either, so it's you that it can help. You can create boundaries. I don't feel safe going out with her, because I'm worried she will start viciousness with other people and I won't be part of it. I'm not available to go out if she's involved. I see you suffering through this, and I don't like to see you caught up and not able to escape. I've made my feelings clear that this isn't healthy or safe for you, and I'm not going to make myself available to talk about it anymore. I'm not going to hang out if she's around. I hope for better for you and I'd support you if you wanted to start dating. You might also look into the website Love is Respect and try to understand. It's certainly unconventional, but this is a jealous, Offensive relationship and your understanding may help you navigate a supportive friendship without enabling her mistreatment. 
I can't shake the feeling that my girlfriend was cheating on me, so I went through her phone and now I'm feeling guilty about it. So I hope no one involved reads this as it is a very specific thing but I don't know what to do. So my GF is the best thing to happen to me in a while. It's my first relationship in a while that is an awfully offensive and because of this I have really bad trust issues. We've only been dating about 5 months and we've hardly spent a day away from each other. The other night my girlfriend got a text from an old friend of hers asking if she would join her and her boyfriend for a three-way to make things interesting. I was looking at her phone watching videos at the time and we looked at one another and she said something jokingly like wow I didn't expect her to do that and told me she promised she wasn't interested and told her she had a boyfriend. Not to shame, my girlfriend has did stuff like that before. She says that she's only like that when she was single and won't do anything behind my back. So the problem starts here, a few days later that same girl asked my girlfriend to come hang out at her place as just friends. I'm not big on letting someone so interested in sleeping with my girlfriend be alone with her right after, but she has quite a few girlfriends she's been with that I can tell I don't have to worry about. Anyway, to show her I trusted her I let her go alone. She said it would just be the girl and not her boyfriend so I shouldn't worry. She comes home early in the night, about 10, and tells me her boyfriend came home and got mad and sent her home cause they were smoking all his herb. A few days later my girlfriend goes back, again she says it's mostly just to be with her friend, but the guy would be there this time. This time she goes and isn't home till about 1am. I try to act calm cause I trust her but this is where I do something immoral and it eats me up. I went through her phone after she went to bed. I went to the messages with that girl my GF went to see saying something like I'm sorry he got mad he just didn't expect things to go that way and got upset we'd love to have you back soon. Then after that my GF says it's good I'm sorry I freaked out. I changed my mind on the way home anyway and I'll be back there as a group chat with the girl and her boyfriend at this time. The guy calls my girlfriend and is seasy and there is a message of him talking about a D picture that he clearly sent to the group chat but was deleted cause I didn't see it. There are quite a few holes in this text chain where it looks like my GF responded but it was deleted. Finally at the time right before my GF leaves to go to her house I see texts asking her to bring says toys and the guy is talking about being really excited to do whatever it is they're doing. Presumably not just dyeing hair like my GF said. So the big thing here is that I got all this info from being a sneak and being disloyal myself, but I felt something was off. I feel like I could forgive her but I don't know. I don't want to wait around for a chance to honestly catch her a second time. I mean I have a bit of evidence. And I don't want to be in a relationship with someone I assume is a cheater. I think the obvious answer is to confront her. Come clean about what I did and ask forgiveness but also ask her to clarify what happened. I can't keep having panic attacks and losing sleep over the thought she did that to me. She promises up and down she's loyal but she told me when we first started dating she's had problems with cheating in the past but I'm different cause she really likes me or whatever. I think cheaters are the worst thing in the world and I made it clear to her if she makes that mistake, odds are that I'll be gone. She knows this and she seems to genuinely love and care for me. My point here is I don't think she wants to hurt me. My big concern is that says for her is just a fun thing and that hiding a fling that doesn't mean anything just doesn't hurt her conscience. She probably did it to be friendly, which is ducked up if those folks pressured her, and is hiding it cause it really doesn't mean much to her. Just please give me advice. I love this girl and I feel guilty for snooping. If nothing is the matter, then I'm ruining this relationship cause I'm paranoid. I can't just drop it though I don't think. TLDR think girlfriend had a three-way with her friend and their BF behind my back. Edit. Okay so I did a half measure based on what some people say. I told her that I was really concerned something happened that night and this time brought up evidence that I could have deduced on my own that I knew was on track with the story I got from reading the texts. She had explanations. I didn't tell her I looked at her phone but she admitted they tried to drop hints about the three-way she originally talked about but that she stood strong and said no. She didn't even try to deny that they are into her, but she insists that she didn't reciprocate. That goes in line with what I read cause like I said, nothing she said in that chat showed her interest. That said I'm willing to put my morals aside one more time and I might download her old messenger messages since I saw a way to do it. I'll read and see if there really is anything incriminating or if the only thing she deleted was an unsolicited d-pic. I think I can go on living with her if that's all, 
but I'm strong enough that if I find proof I'll have her on the porch at 2 a.m. if that's when I find out. To everybody calling me a pee or dumb, I really just didn't describe the lack of hard evidence well enough. It isn't a good look for her for sure, but nothing is damning. If there is nothing that goes against what she said to me, this all just never happened and I'm a paranoid AH boyfriend. Not to mention this really is the nicest relationship I've ever been in. This is a girl I could marry. Edit 2, yes this is real, yeah my life is terrible sometimes. I wrote this as I was freaking out. Some things I'll say is I don't feel guilty for having looked at her phone anymore. If the circumstance wasn't so serious I'd say it's wrong. I think you're all right about her and me though. I'll cut stuff off tonight and move on. This crap is just crazy. It feels totally unreal. I'm a pretty boring dude I like to think and it feels like I'm in a Hallmark movie. Edit, yeah she cheated on me. Just the girl not the guy. He was upset she wouldn't get with him but she only wanted the girl. We're fighting and crap right now but I don't know. I'm probably gonna delete this account because I bet I'm gonna stay with her. She told me she's been feeling like crap ever since. I told her about you guys on the internet telling me what to do and she hit me with a yeah in every other case of this happening you should leave the girl but our situation is different. And you know, statistically this relationship is more like to fail now and she has a much higher chance of cheating again, I'm gonna roll the dice and see if I get that 1% chance of a girl that really changes. She offered to do therapy, blames it on childhood mistreatment, which honestly she had a lot of. We went through some traumatic stuff together too and it's why we are so close. She's a troubled person and I knew that from the get-go. I believe her when she says it won't happen again and that she will work to change. I'm not going to be a pushover anymore though and I told her things were going to be different from now on. I'm not putting up with any secrets. She can have friends but maybe let me meet them. I don't know this has been one of the worst nights of my life. Also I lied and I am 22 and she is 20. I don't care if they find this anymore cause I outed her already. Dude wants a cheater always a cheater, yeah you love her now but she obviously doesn't respect you enough to stay loyal to you. Don't put up with that our situation is different BS. Kick her A to the curb and move on, easier said I know but in the long run it'll be better for you. Worldwide comments of the day. I know it's a cliche at this point but it's a good thing he caught her right before marriage and kids got involved. Also props to him for dumping the cheater to the curve straight away unlike other people that try to revive their dead relationships. Be glad you discovered this before marriage and child. This creature was never your friend. Move on and let her stew in her own thoughts. She is not worth anything but indifference. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more interesting and relatable Reddit videos.